I think we left off with all side quests done, right? So the only thing I need to do now is talk, to, as we often begin a session with, with talking to this lady up here. I'll double check at the NPC just to make sure, but I'm pretty sure we can just carry on with the main story now. I don't particularly want to go out of my way to do any marks just yet. We've done most of them. Although I do want to get his ultimate this, weapon. Quick look. But I'd have to cheat and look up where the question mark monsters are, because I don't know where I'll look for them, because they're question mark monsters. There was no D&D &D today, though, and that kid's Valinar has no excuse for not being here. He's going to miss the Vivian talking. It doesn't make it true. Ah, Clive. I was wondering when you'd arrive. Please tell me you've come to take our young prodigy here off my hands. I'm not here for mid. I need information on Ash. Then why not ask Molly if you can look in one of her ovens? <sighs> Go on. As soon as the Enterprise is ready, we'll be setting out for Drake's spine. And we're going to need a safe place to land. Preferably one that won't seem a ship blown to shit and splinters. If it were that easy, do you think Walud would have resisted invasion for so long? Very little is known of Ash, and the information we do have is spotty and outdated. We have the good King Barnabas to thank for that. Walud's borders have been closed to outsiders since the day he seized the throne. If there is anywhere... Oh, that is rough to do. You won't find it on my map. Then tell us I saw in the news find. about the heat waves in the US sure being, no like, really here. dangerous. But no splinters! Alright, alright. If it will get you out of my Let's look head. at the map! She's gonna show us the map! And it's over. Here Understood. comes the map! Oh god, it's the map! Barnabas Tharm. The one they call the Last King. Understand him. And you will understand the kingdom of Walud. Barnabas was only a boy when he arrived from beyond the southern seas. And barely a man before he united the ragged tribes of Ash. And having unleashed them upon the formidable Veldemark, he set his throne upon the ancient kingdom's ruins. The victory sent shockwaves around Valisthea. Tales of Odin's might spreading through every court, parlor, and drinking hall in the realm. Note that this was in the year 843, and that the king still sits upon his throne some 40 years later, quite untouched by time. Walud's recent inaction left many wondering if Odin had lost his appetite for war. And yet here we are. The Einherjar was committed to the fray, a bold declaration of intent. Orcs swarm around Drake's Fang, and throngs of Akashic haunt canvas streets. Though how precisely the havoc they wreak serves Walud remains unclear. Regardless, if the order to attack truly came from King Barnabas, then one thing is certain. Walud has achieved the impossible and made bedfellows of beast men and the ether adult alike. All of which is a roundabout way of saying that you will be in unknown territory when you set foot on Ash. Much of the continent has already been lost to the blight, and what few ports remain will be fiercely guarded. And that is to say naught of its natural defenses. Offshore currents will cast an ill-equipped ship out to sea one moment and dash it against the rocks the next. But then the you have indeed, Lojak, yes. But ill -equipped. And Mid has I'm made currently in the process of transferring before. files to as we speak now, and listen to Vivian talk and use a lot of words to say I don't know. Coast, and where a daring gentleman might put ashore. Oh, I thought I was going to do like an Ocean's Eleven fade into us actually doing it. You see, Clive, you had the answer all along. Do you think you can get us back to that beach, Mid? Picked you up from it, didn't I? Not that it were easy. The currents were right, bastard. But then, if it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be worth doing, would it? Well said. Thank you, Lady Vivian. 
If a few morsels of common knowledge and a sprinkling of tavern talk are worthy of your thanks, I wonder what... Why is she being such a bitch all of a sudden for no reason? Probably more visits. Mid, I need everyone in the ale hall now. I'll fetch Joshua from the shelves. Aye, aye, Captain. Oh yeah, my old man moment. I've got an external normal hard drive I've had for years and years and years. I, I back up important stuff to when I remember, which is like once a year. And it's maybe the size of a small boot. Uh, it's the size of a almost a PS5 box that I see in front of me. This new 2 terabit SSD arrives. It's the size of my damn debit card. Then maybe like half a centimeter thick. Technology is now at the point where it scares me. Is that old hard drive? I'm, well, I think it's maybe one terabit. I don't quite remember now. Oh, this is the shelves? Could have just said the library. No, the PC is has an SSD, but it's a 256 one, so it's tiny. Not big enough for games, big enough for like important stuff in the OS. I have no reason to assume otherwise. Well, then that changes everything. Clive, you must listen to this. Rosman, tell him. If you're trying to avoid spoilers all that, you really don't want to be watching. I'm very far through. Well, it inspired me to delve deeper into the subject. And what I discovered appears to agree with the findings of His Grace. You will recall that my quest to uncover Ultima's origins began with the mural at Phoenix Gate. But while I've always known it to be important, its secrets have heretofore eluded me. Now, however... I believe I know where to find the more complete example. One that will reveal all we seek. Master Clive, have you ever in your travels chanced to hear of the Circle of Malleus? I would think not, if you have. But there was once a time when the faith flourished, the oldest known religion in the Twins. And though its popularity eventually waned on storm, hints of its dogma remain embedded in more modern faiths such as the Crystalline Orthodox. Wait, you said it waned on storm. What of ash? Religious monuments are often torn down or repurposed when new faiths rise to prominence. But if no new faith arose, then perhaps the ancient temples might still stand. And so, you see now why I must accompany you to Walud. It would appear the past still has much to teach us. Though in this case, it would not have been possible without the musings of Moss. <laughs> to think that you carried a copy of my old mentor's chronicles all along. I am relieved to discover it in good hands. I shall guard it with my life. Joshua, if you're finished here, join me in the ale hall. I need to speak to everyone before we leave. Right away. That child is called Crow. That's not everyone, that's just the select characters that have a bit more personality. By now you've all heard where we're going and why. So I won't bother you with the boring details, only the important ones. If we attempt to approach Stone here by sea, there's a good chance we'll be sighted and fall prey to the capital's artillery. So instead, we'll disembark on the southwest coast and make for Drake's spine on foot. I say we, but it's highly likely the entirety of Ash is under the rule of Ultima. A large party would only attract unwanted attention. As well as slow our march, and require supplies which may be difficult to obtain. Only Joshua and I will be going. And a scout. Preferably a good one. Gav, do you know of any? You bet your ass I do. Might still borrow some of Lady Vivian's maps though. Just in case, like. Once you've dropped us off at the Shadow Coast, you need to retreat into neutral waters. Fly merchant colors and stay inconspicuous. 
If you sense any danger at all, your ship looks like a spaceship. Inconspicuous is my the flag head. will not make it inconspicuous. But like hell, am I leaving anyone behind? The ship ain't going nowhere till your scurvy mugs are smiling on deck. Jill, the Enterprise will appear a tempting target for royalists and pirates alike. You're to stop anyone boarding. Don't worry. I'll keep the ship and her crew safe. You'll be needing passage home, after all. But... Very well. If there are no questions, I'll see you all at the docks. Let me know when you're leaving. I want a word before you go. Of course. We could talk right now. There's no one else here. Yeah, you did miss the start of this, and you missed the I'm placing blame for second section on you. Because Mech Warrior and Total Warhammer both got the same number of votes, so you're the veto. You also missed me talking about the SSD that arrived. I'm currently transferring files to it, but not Total Warhammer. I'll do that tomorrow because I need to be reminded about. Side quests! Oh, side quest. Okay, only one as a treat. Let me see. Is it only one? It appears to only be one. That's acceptable. Please, your grace. Oh, my Lord Marquis. Yote, is anything the matter? You seem troubled. Perhaps I might be able to help. My Lord. Y yes Perhaps you might. It's your brother. His condition continues to worsen, though he does his best to hide it. The lesion on his chest pains him more with each passing day. I had feared as much. There are certain elixirs which can ease the suffering of those afflicted by the curse, but... But? But his grace's case is severe. The drafts I have been able to prepare for him thus far have ceased to have any real effect. So I consulted with Talia and certain of my comrades among the Undying about the possibility of finding something stronger. And thankfully, a recipe was found. The only problem being that the critical ingredient is exceptionally hard to come by. And our supplies are almost exhausted. Unless we can secure more soon, your brother's anguish will likely become unbearable. My lord, I know that I have no right to make demands of you. But would you help? For Joshua's sake. For Joshua? Anything. Thank you, my lord. So, what is this critical ingredient? A rare herb by the name of Stonerwort. Oh, we're getting him some pop. Only where the ether that does help with pain. The vigor it stores in its stems helps to counteract the curse. We discovered a patch near the aqueduct in Rosaria. But alas, yet more ether has erupted from the earth there recently, leaving the whole area flooded. The search continues for a new source. One that we might reach without being turned. So it's only that you can't reach it? The stone and water itself is unharmed by the flood? Well... Yes, but... Then I shall go in your stead. Oh, but, my lord... You've yet to find another source, correct? So for now, the aqueduct is our best hope. Besides... Do you make warrior? No, oh, okay, that's fine. The ether can't I presume me. you're having another day of being soup, then. Well, if you're sure, my lord. Stonerwort is easily identified by its blood-red blooms. Search around the aqueduct, and you're sure to find some soon enough. I shall remain here and prepare the other ingredients. It's a quest called Phoenix Heal Thyself. I'm the one doing it. Yeah, for anyone hoping for more Warhammer Underworlds, I recorded some today. 
Still mucking around with camera settings, so bear with videos looking a bit off. Until I find something I'm satisfied with, which maybe never. Just warming up before we inevitably have to fight something nasty. Like, where in the game is the aqueducts in Rosaria? I forgot that aqueducts are like this. I was thinking sewers. I realise it's stupid. I've been getting all manner of Twitter ads because every time I get one, I block it. A lot of crypto ones. <laughs> I wasn't on bloody toggle. Every time. Yeah, I was gonna upgrade those potions to elixirs, just in case I do end up having to actually heal during a fight. Doesn't look much like weed. Here it is. Better collect as much as I can before reinforcements arrive. All right, that should do it. Let's get these back to Yote. Ah, oh, yeah. I was curious if chests repopulate, but no, no, they do not. If you find them, you find them. Didn't even look around for more. Yes, my lord. Thank you. 
I'm sure it will serve us until we can find another source. I'm very glad to hear it. You and His Grace are very much alike, you know. You think only of how you might help others, and never of the danger to yourselves. No more than you have, minding my brother. You've risked a lot for him, and I thank you for it. I am honored that you should say so. But I beg you, my lord, do not give too much of yourself for the sake of others. We could not afford to lose you. I'll keep that in mind. Narrator voice. He didn't. There's a lot of ability points, but I'm saving them. It's just a meme now that I've, literally every reward for every side quest involves one meteorite. Just gonna check if anything else appeared on the monster board, and then we're good. Oh, it did. Or something did, because I don't remember having to scroll down. S-Ranks. All these question mark ones are S-Ranks. I mean, I'm sure like that one hints it's in somewhere in Samber Quiz, whatever it's called. But to find these, I'm probably just going to Google it <laughs> come the time. Is something wrong? Not at all. Honestly. Can't a man wish his friend farewell? Just wanted to let you know that I'll keep things in order while you're off saving the world. I'll hold you to that. Here we go. I imagine there'll be a warning when there's a literal point of no return. A long walk to the capital if we follow the cliffs. I'll scout ahead, see if I can't find us an inland route. Shouldn't you be concerned about the blue, like, stuff in the air? Isn't that Akishik stuff? Clive. Mm -hmm. There's something I've been meaning to ask. You took her icon, didn't you? Yes, I did. She understood. Oh, oh she understood. Understood that you decided to save the world all on your own, and that you'd die without her power. How dare you make her choose? You knew damn well she'd never refuse you. I'm clearly misremembering but the scene, because I, I thought she instigated. You can't keep pushing us away, Clyde. The world is ours to save, not yours. I used my gift because I thought it was the right thing to do. And you truly believe this will save you? Will save us all? I do. And so be it. Am I misremembering? I thought she offered it and he was reluctant. Just don't forget. You're not alone. I think I found us a trail. Uh, 
did I miss something? Only that Joshua didn't. I don't get it. Uh, I need to go back to watch and double check. Because that feels like a little bit of retconning that situation. Always wanted to visit Ash. We're in Waluda territory now. Don't expect a warm welcome. Oh, I don't know, Clive. That castle over there looks inviting enough. Shall we sample its inhabitants? That doesn't look inviting at all. The hell are you talking about, Gav? You could argue he was saying that with sarcasm. There was no sarcasm detected in the way he said Remember it. Remember what I said about warm welcomes, Gav. Right, this place is as dead as Greek as ghost. She can beastmen working together. They've learned to put aside their differences, get them. I guess that was why uh, Joshua wasn't able to follow us around for the side quests I've been doing since I got Shiva powers, because he wasn't supposed to know you had them. I think it would have been better if they just like walked around this castle once they saw it was filled with Akashic. Fancy looking one. Blueberry item. Actually, I think amber was in the recipe we needed, right? Probably more than one, but still.
seemed a bit overkill. about that welcome after all Clive bird it's a very strange way to get into a castle unless this is us passing beyond it now Delegation. We should send a warning to the others. No. My uncle will have an eye on the coast. I trust he'll find a way to entertain any uninvited guests. Our mark is Drake's spine, and there's a lot of road between us and it. We press on to stone here. Aye, you never know. It might not be an Estes Labyrinth monsters. <sighs> Clive, you must go on ahead without me. This stronghold is as old as Phoenix Gate, perhaps older. It may yet hide Ultima's remaining secrets, and if we are to best him, they must be unearthed. All right. Stay out of trouble. I always do, mostly. You sure about this? About leaving my brother on his own? Of course. Mostly. Lady Vivian's map is Splitting so up always works well. Tell which way is up. But if I'm right, we're not far from a village. That is Joshua, Isla. yes. Then we make our way there, resupply, and wait for Joshua. Now it looks like we're in Bloodborne. This is also a really big area down here, so we're gonna fight something big. Or maybe just lots of little things, but fights for sure. Reeks like a marble's arsehole. Yeah, the thing was reborn. He did not, in fact, die. If you haven't been watching what's came before this, you probably really shouldn't be watching so late in the game. Although the reveal that he's not dead is quite early on. Wait, where's Gav? Is he... Gav's fighting a crab! Nest.
Oh, there's a uh, adamantoys. I mean, they're a bit of a pain in the ass to fight. Is that a special one? Oh, it seems to be making the birds do its bidding, so I guess we'll engage. Didn't even drop. Oh no, I dropped the goblin coin. Still need to find a source of water calcum. I remember that much. It's all manner of enemies here. I saw Weaver in the too. Crabs are moving with purpose. Oh, yeah, how did you come from? Where you go to find the uh, like higher tier enemy types. Gabs out here having to fight monstrosities. And I'm not stopping for any more birds unless there's something more significant now. Oh. 
How much breath? Uh, don't look down, Torgal. <coughs> The bridge from Indiana Jones. That must be Estla. And we're too late. Damn it. They're all turned. There's nothing we can do. I wouldn't say nothing. No quarter down! No quarter! Questions now. Wait, other way around. that but I haven't skilled the one that sends the balls after things because if it sends out more if it's upgraded that's worth spending points on. I just don't remember what I already have. Check after you know, whenever <laughs> this fight ends. So it's trying to cast cure and everybody and kill them too quick. Chunk.
go Turgle win super mode. Gav. Gav! Don't tell me there's more of the bastards. Oh, fuck. Have you come to watch, Odin? Bound for stone here. <clears throat> Good. My master awaits you in the capital, though I cannot allow you to attend him in your present state. And how are you going to stop us? Why, with this! What did you do? That is a convenient power, yes. Well, inconvenient for them, convenient for him. If the vessel would see the path opened, it has but to ask. I shall see that my master's prize is made. Presentable. No! Uh, Clive? Would you mind telling me what the fuck just happened? Oh, they're going to get turned to dust when they touch you, aren't they? They're going to, like, fizz and turn to chicken. <laughs> oh, you've got to be. How are we supposed to So that one coming a mile away. We seek an audience with the king. If his majesty wants me to come and ask him... And that is exactly what I'll do. Before you go practicing your petition, we don't even know where the fucker went. To the sky. Out, we cool our heads and think this through, eh? All right. He went to the sky. Maybe there's something here we can use. 
Alright, let me just quickly check that I did upgrade that power for... Bam it. Didn't I? Upgraded. That one's not upgraded, but it's garbage. Wait, wait. Which power is it? Yeah, it's that one. And the out is already upgraded. Upgraded. Upgraded, yeah. Might as well just hold on to them until I get Odin's powers. That's upgraded. Oh, I could upgrade Judgment Bolt. What is that doing when it's upgraded? It increases number of bolts. Sure. Oh, wait, I don't have quite enough. That must be really good when it's upgraded then. I'll hold off and do that. I, I thought it was already upgraded because it seems to do a lot of damage. Survivor or is it the prince? I think she might be some kind of owl. Got her knees up, or is she pregnant? I can't tell by the camera angle so far. Edda, forgive me for asking, but what went on here? The icons only seem to have a will of their own if the bearer loses or the dominant loses control. Oh yeah, she is. It all started when the skies changed. The elders said it was the Ark. One by one. People went mad, minds taken by the ether, till only I remained. By then, I was too far alone to run, and, and then the nights came, and I didn't know what to do. told us when we misbehave about how the heavens would grow dark before the land took her last breath the end of the world you said the others went mad but where did they go they they all left East to the tower to reverie. The elders, the healer, the blacksmith, my husband. I hope they don't do a Dawn of the Dead remake and have her give birth to Nikeshik. You thinking he did this? Of course. Who else could it be? You were in Canva. You saw what he did to the people. But then what about her? How come her nut hasn't cracked? The baby, perhaps? 
Could be protecting her from the ether. I can't think of any other explanation. You mean... it's a bearer? It won't matter what it is once Ultima's magic takes hold. Time's running out. Oh, her unborn baby is a bearer, so it's absorbing the ether and keeping her safe. This In small tower. amounts. That's where we'll find the king. It's quite clever. I knew it. It's the same as Phoenix Gate. Which means at the end of these stairs should be... I have a feeling he's going to learn something very significant and then something will happen so he can't just go tell Clive. But we as the player will know. Oh, so there was meant to be a Leviathan. Where is the fiend? So that's what you want, isn't it, Ultima? I'm afraid I need a bit more information than that. So that's how it's going to be then? I'm not asking, Gav. I need you to stay with Edda. What? I must do this alone. If I don't return, you're to find Joshua and make for the Enterprise. Understood? I was he to do that with the shield up, but <sighs> sure. Aye. Just don't you go dying on me. Sid's name suits your miserable mug better than mine. Don't worry. I haven't finished with it yet. <laughs> He's got Torgo with him, that's all he needs. Instruction is unclear. I thought that's where I was supposed to go. If Barnabas is controlling the Akashic, then wherever he goes, they'll follow. And so will I. Is it this way back through the swamp? No, there's another path. That way. Yeah, it wouldn't make you go back through the swamp after just getting through it. 
Blue VP. Well, Auden put up a cabin in the woods ask force field. And we met a pregnant lady. Explain more where that came from. Page of Twitch. I guess they're being very progressive. I have a feeling there'll be side quests set here in the near future because there's lots of side paths that are currently locked off. Body painter who actively paints on themselves. Oh yeah, it's one of those loopholes where nudity is okay as long as there's like something layered on top of it, that kind of thing. Oh. American law regarding like what is and isn't porn is exceptionally stupid. And Twitch has to adhere to those stupid rules for either sometimes benefit or sometimes hindrance. It's like getting away with drinking in public in America as long as it's in a blank bag, even though everybody knows what you're doing. So those bags are for yes, so you can drink in public. You don't need to do that here for the record. I mean, you will absolutely be judged, but you won't be arrested. Unless you're doing it in excess or to someone else's harassment. I just go around in a circle. Also, what is a circle? If not love persevering. I can't see. My monitor is too dark. There is a hole here somewhere. Oh, there it is. I need to close my other curtain. The sun started to shine for the first time today. There we go. I can see now.
Well, the bus stands are one of the main places you see people drinking in Scotland. It's a tradition. Also getting pregnant. Those are the two most common things done at bus stops. Catching a bus is third. This is it, boy. Curiosity checking for side quests. Because technically you shouldn't be able to leave right now because of the force field, but it actually is laying you, which is interesting. What a quaint looking little home. Stay close, Torgal. Come here, Duke. I can only kind of half hear it, so I... No, I can't make it out. Kind of stop. I, I guess it's the battle theme for the area. No, I don't remember the OST to that very well. Except the battle theme, but that's just because it's from a previous game remixed. Purple fire! damage from ice at all. Yeah. 
This is going to be another dungeon of just walking from one fight room to the other, which is what makes the Fallen Rune parts a little boring. Granted, the rooms look a little bit weirder and more interesting, but it's still just open door fight, open door fight. essentially died to a parry there. Hmm. I also don't have a map. So I was trying to bring it up there to see if there was an alternative path. Oh, do I have enough ability points for... I do. Ooh! Animation looks a lot fancier too. A bit overkill, but it's fine. The <laughs> Pantus Bravis, get it. He's trying to eat me. That's a satisfying amount of lightning. Hey, new record. if I'd use my limit brick. It really wanted me to look at that chest there, it was forcing me to.
I have Shiva powers, yeah. If I were Barnabas, and they're upgraded. Where would I be? Top of the tower. The top. So I could look down on the world. Correct. Hit the chest. Oh yeah, it makes one of the abilities different in some way. It's probably cool down or damage. Definitely enemies in here. Enough of you are there. Oh, I thought it was on Shiva, shit. That's because we talked about it. Ah, that goes job done. I hope this isn't a long series of combat rooms, just because I do want to finish this Odin stuff before we have to swap over. Because then that will just leave Ultima. Although I imagine there's 100% going to be side quests between those two events. Because some of the stories are not yet resolved. Boss before the boss. I can do that. He actually looks like the sort of final boss to Devil May Cry 5. I've forgotten his name, but the one that turns like the demon side of um, Virgil. Spoilers. Quite as lanky. Score. 
High score! Let's say the boss fights with the numbers are inflated. Or icon fights, I mean. Five meteorites? I earned those. What was that thing? Hopefully there aren't any more. We fought one of those before. We didn't have the same glow colour, but I'm very certain we fought one. Because I recognise the attacks. I wonder if that's a secret. Nah, this probably just links around, right? Oh, actually, no, it doesn't. Looks like this goes quite high up. Oh, is this going to be powering up the thing or something? Maybe not, because there's only one door to go through. That's another elevator, okay. Yeah, it's the only place to put them because it's the only, like, this path that I'm on now is the only place you can, you have to go after getting her powers so far. And they don't want you to miss the chance for every ability, I would guess. Another boss? I guess that last one didn't have a boss health bar. I'm being attacked by a geode. Now this one does have a boss health bar. Oh, I just did press the damn attack.
Double boss fight. Double boss fight. What's well, it's going to be triple, really, because we're fighting Ypres afterwards. It seems like something that could drop or a calcum when it dies. Turbo powered up for this by never even noticed. His shield is actually a gun. I'll be honest, I didn't even see what it was called. I just assumed it was called Iron Giant or something. Fallen Iron, though, it is used to make something. We're at the top if we have rain. Either that or Odin is pissing on us as we get up there. I'm 
I'm gonna place a guess that because we have Shiva powers, Thor will confuse with us. It just came to me just now. Must ever feed if her edge is to remain keen. But ya. What care you for these worthless creatures? They are nothing. Weak from the moment of their conception, ever longing for power not theirs to command, they turn unfailingly upon themselves. Like sheep. They roam in filthy flocks, eager to trample those few gifted a fleece of gold. Or that they might feel contentment with their pitiful existence. Prejudice and persecution, severance and strife, every earthly wrong springs from the malice in men's hearts. Malice born of the pain and suffering that is free will. Its corruption is gnawed at your being from the very moment of your birth. You're wrong. It is no corruption. It is who I am. Every choice I make, right or wrong, gives me reason to carry on. And carry on I shall, not as a puppet, but as a man. Which are you? <laughs> there was a time I too thought those the only choices. What? Long ago, God granted man the gift of magic. And with that gift did he build great civilizations. Yet over time, man lost sight of the gift's true meaning, stepping from the path of shared prosperity to one of avarice. He abandoned his creator for sword and flame, and through his folly, beckoned the blight. Yet... There were those few who refused to turn their eyes from the heavens. And they prayed to God that he might lead them back to righteousness. And the Lord, he did answer. Before the worthy shall the gates of paradise open, and so did I spread my arms to the ether and cast my soul upon its gentle waters. I gave myself unto him. Drinking some cool ages. Madness is this. My worth proven, the Lord charged me thus. If your kind are to find salvation, they must be made to serve. You see, paradise lies but a single step away. Could we only take it? Could we only leave our transgressions behind? For none save the pure of heart and mind may set foot in the new world. I will save us. But it all begins and ends with you. You are the key, Mythos. And with this humble offering shall I prove my faith once more. So you forsook your kingdom. You forsook yourself to serve. Tell me. How is that living? 
What you seek to provide is not salvation. It's anything but. Life is about always having a choice. Take that away, and we might as well be dead. <laughs> Very well. Come then. Show us the strength of your will. It's not the strength of my will that should worry you. But the weakness of yours. If you think your will the stronger, prove it. By this day's end, you shall know the truth. as his vessel, and you cling to this foolish notion of hope, when there is none.
Free yourself, Mythos. You will not defeat me otherwise. We'll see. Perhaps you still require the switch. Truth, Barnabas. We are not as weak as your God believes. of your weakness. <laughs> My apologies. You are not the fool I took you for. Tell me you are tired, Mythos! 
Your stubborn defiance has stirred my long becalmed heart, filling it with a joy that I have not known for generations! I had thought the tantalizing kiss of self-indulgence a dream forever out of reach. And now that its sweet ruin courses through my veins, I shall not be quick to relinquish it. Show me your work, Mythos, that I might revel in it!
at an end. And we both know the truth. It is I who stand victorious. My will that prevailed. Your will? No. It was his. Clive Rossfield. If he really is there, that was a little less bombastic than fighting Bahamut in space. No, oh, he can't be dead. I don't have his power yet. approval I... you were shown a fantasy and you chose to believe it but you were wrong there is no world but the one we live in and that world that world is worth saving even if it means killing a god. Crystals have fulfilled theirs. Come, Clive Rothfield. Take what is rightfully yours. Become one with God. No. Sounds like Salazar ever so often. At long last, salvation. I'm coming home.
tell me, how does it feel? Show yourself! Face me! How does it feel to consume your rival's strength? To gorge yourself on their being? To edge step by trembling step, ever closer to the divine? With or without a will, you are still but a vessel. Our vessel. A nuclear vessel. Behold. How your body shudders in anticipation of its fate. Oh. It's not yours yet. No. Come then, O oh wayward child. We shall await you upon the back of the first worm. There, all shall end and begin again. I thought his physical form was still trapped inside Joshua. Fight for the opposite! 
He fights for a world in which they shouldn't have to live and die for nothing! Yes. And he fights today to give us all the chance of a better tomorrow! Be that as it may! A handful of men cannot stand against the kingdom! Then mayhap they are the wrong men. Well, I'll be damned. Our numbers are few. But I shall rally as many of my dragoons as I'm able. You, apprise the Lord Strategist of the state of the city's defenses. Yes, Your Radiance. And you would fight alongside us. I owe the Phoenix a debt. <laughs> Does this vouch for my nephews? Aye, but I still have my doubts about you. Which we can discuss later. Indeed. You said you had men garrisoned in the keep. Captain, do you know how many yet remain? Allow me to confirm. Commander? Whatever their number, Randalar will be needed. Gather the them bodies all. and build a pyre in the courtyard. Quickly. Terence. My lord. Oh, his boyfriend lived. You will find a girl there. A girl? We are in the middle of a war. I owe her my life. And I always pay my debts. You are to see that she is provided for. Dion, I cannot leave. But you shall. If I am ever to be worthy of the forgiveness of our people, then I must earn it. And I must earn it by my hand, and my hand alone. Oh, that I do not ask this lightly. And know that I will do it. Farewell, Terence. Clive, thank fuck. You all right? I am. But I'm a damn sight better for seeing you, Joshua. And Barnabas. The king is dead. They are, but so is their killer. He can't hurt anyone anymore. You're safe.
have. We need to talk. I'm sorry, Clive. You know I want nothing more than to go with you. I do. But I'm glad you're heading back to the Enterprise, nonetheless. And not just for Edda's sake. Our people need to know what happened here. You can count on me. As can she, I hope. Thank you, me lord. Do you think that was wise? Wiser than leaving a woman with child alone in the Deadlands. They'll be safer at the hideaway. For now, at least. This land is overrun with Akashic. The king himself was long turned, albeit by choice. All to serve Ultima in his damnable quest to forge the perfect vessel. The chaos Barnabas wreaked upon nation after nation. How many were killed for this? Uh, he didn't consider it killing, or a mercy of sorts, a way to end their suffering. He truly wanted to save mankind, and ultimately use that. As he uses us. But why us? What are we? What are we? We are dominance. That is our fate. But that doesn't mean we have to accept it, which is why we fight. For the right to deny it. Is that not so? It is. For our sins. Barnabas said something else. That the Mother Crystals were Ultimas. Ultimas? Are you certain? We know that the Mother Crystals have been leading the land of Ether, And we also know that it's this which hastens the spread of the blight. But what I cannot fathom is what Ultima stands to gain from that. What did you find at the stronghold? The truth about Ultima's prize. For so long, I believed it to be you, and you alone. Yet, it is not merely a fruit that he desires, but a fruit and phoenix both. That which we became in the skies over Twinside. Only when the twin flames are joined, shall his vessel be complete. Quite why he needs a vessel is another question. Unless... There is something he cannot achieve without one. Something his immaterial form precludes. Something requiring an unthinkable amount of ether and a body resilient enough to channel it. If I did not know better, brother, I would think that he meant to cast a spell. A spell a thousand years in the making. A spell to end all spells. And he cannot do it without us. Nor without the Mother Crystals. <clears throat> but if we destroy them all... ...we will stop not only the Blight... ...but Ultima as well. We stick to the plan then. Only this time... ...we face him together. Well, 
It's a long walk to stone here. Let's not keep Ultima waiting. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. Ultima casts Ultima. I was kind of expecting us to go back to the hideaway there. Assassin's Creed. Ooh. It's an interesting one. So you turn into the sword and then based on how many more hits you, you charge up a more powerful Zantetsukin. When Barnabas fell, his magic died with him. The road to stone here is barred to us no longer. Just quickly checking if she had anything to steal. She's not coming back. Circle is complete. Oh, in the middle changed color as well. Did the powers change? No. Unfortunately, I don't have a lot of points now. So what does that do when it upgrades? Jesus Christ, that's a long explanation. Increases maximum level to 5. That's pretty cool. Goes on for ages. Increases the follow-up attack speed. Hmm. Increases the number of times ability can be chained. That lets you chain combos if you get that, but that's not my style really. What does mastery do though? Or upgrade, I mean. Immediately recover poise. Hmm. It's Omni Slash! That's pretty cool. Significantly increases the number of hits. Yeah, okay, it's Omni Slash. Got it. That's going to take a little bit to get to. I'd rather... Well, if I hold off, I can get straight to it, but I kind of want to try both these powers. That one looks interesting. This one looks interesting. Have them both. They both focus on stagger damage. Yeah, I'll hold off getting the out a bit longer because that means we get to enjoy the powers. If he focuses mostly on stagger damage, then I think replacing Shiva would be the best bet because doesn't her ult... Yeah, her ult is mostly stagger based. That seem right. Bahamut's powers are really good and I just like Ramu's. Yeah, so the square ability is the spinning dervish and that one's the go through people. Okay. And that would extend based on the number of people. It's the same combo with that. Okay, get it. Neat. Well, there's a side quest there. Can I go back to the hideaway from here, or are we like locked in? We can go back. I'm going to go back because I want to see what I can make with those materials. The fire and ice nunchuck combo from DMC. I never much used those weapons, so I don't remember them that well. Covered in nicks and lumps. I also want to check if there's new marks. 
Typical timing, the dog's just settled down next to me and she's going to have to move when I switch over to the PC. Oh, there is more. Okay, that's pandemonium. Huh. Yeah, all the nasty stuff's appearing now. <laughs> We're in the true endgame now. Oh, Titan's Wake. That would be an easy one to find, whatever it is. A construct of Ultima, it says. So this should, in theory, just say the new location. Yeah. Which we'll do next time. Okay. Oh, I wasn't expecting you back, so. Still don't have enough to get to that. Best of luck out there, Sid. Thank you, whatever your name is. How do you split the sea? She won't have anything interesting. Trouble with your gear, or what do you want? The Ever Dark. Oh, the Ever Dark isn't as good as Excalibur. I'm still going to craft it Not bad. because the upgraded version could be better. Still missing those. The Sons of Ouroboros. Is there anything else down here? Uh, what are we missing? <laughs> Everything! Oh wait, no, purple swords are never upgraded. But if there is one beyond that, we'd need it crafted anyway. Okay. Anything else? We're sticking with Excalibur then, and we'll be picking this up next time for YouTube. <laughs>